Welcome to Why Paint Pastels. I'm Yvonne, a professional artist with the Tampa Bay area, and we're going to build a large, waterproof, acid-free, lightweight artboard. And all the things that you will need for this exercise are a half-inch foam board that's 40 by 60 inches, and honestly, you can build one whatever size you want. Besides your foam board, you're going to need a gesso brush. This is a two and a half inch from Blick, but any, again, any size will do, whatever you have on hand. A pair of scissors, duct tape, and duct tape does work better than the 3M products, and Liquitex matte medium. I had made these two boards, but they were both 30 by 40, and I needed the bigger board in order to do the bigger piece. Before we get started, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, and leave a comment below. Now let's go ahead and build this artboard. So here's our 40 by 60 board, so let's get started with giving it its two coats. As we know, this doesn't have to be a perfect work of art. This is just a sealer, so we need to ensure that the entire surface is covered, and that's the main objective. By making sure that there is a glisten evenly distributed across the whole surface. Needless to say, whenever covering large surfaces, do it in sections, check your section, then move on to another section. Okay, we almost have this side done. Now that we've covered both sides of our foam board with the Liquitex matte medium, now we're going to seal all the edges with duct tape and that'll give us a fully waterproof working surface. And actually it'll give us two sides. So we want to come in just a little over half an inch, leave a little bit of an end. rubbing this down to make sure it's sealed. And when we go to fold it over, we want to start in the middle. We want to push firmly all along the entire way. Put your thumbs over the top and roll forward. And make sure that you don't leave any air or any space. I know this takes a few more minutes as opposed to just doing like this with your hand but take the time, take the few extra minutes to get a nice, tight fit. Hold in 
one side. And fold in the other side. We flip the board and now we need to do this side. Needless to say, we can't put that on the floor. I could never reach it. As with a lot of art, there are repetitive motions and you need to be patient and build. And we're going to close off this end the same way by snipping at the corners, folding in the middle, folding one side, and then the other. And pinch the whole thing, make sure that it's tight. Now that we're doing this last corner, we have one full seal around the entire board. We want to put one more round of duct tape on the whole board so that we have double assurance that it's 100% waterproof. Now we're going to put duct tape around the edges a second time. And what's important to note when we do this, see where the edge of your duct tape is from your first time? Go about a quarter of an inch past that onto the board. Be sure that you go over this first set of duct tape. Okay, that's a little too much. There we go. You can feel it under your thumb, so make sure it goes over at least a quarter of an inch. Okay, so now we have a nice large working surface. Waterproof, light, easy to move. I can't imagine trying to lift a board this size. Let's put her on the easel, undo everything. I hope this was helpful to you. Now you have a large surface, you're ready to go. And for those of you who like to work big, now you're all set up. I hope this video was helpful. It will give you the information to build artboards of all different sizes to meet your needs. You can use them for pastels, watercolors, oils, anything. And it gives you double workspace because you can work on either side. So in, in closing, I'd just like to say thank you for watching my video. Um, again, please like my video. If it was helpful to you, leave a comment, subscribe, ring the bell. And um, I definitely want to say thank you, a big thank you to Kidsquid Studios for producing this video. And I'll see you next time. So long for now from Y Pink Pastels.